everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another series review. I just watched Power Rangers Ninja Steel. The episode was called Drive to Survive. And then this particular episode, we're revealed as to Calvin's fear of driving and Sarah's uncanny ability to fashion a motorbike out of scrap metal. Yeah, that was really sweet. I, I was mightily impressed. And we get to meet a new villain, Tangle Web, and of course he starts off really innocent and then he scares everybody half to death when he comes into his um, normal form. <laughs> well, it's so funny, there's a, a side story. <laughs> of course, it has some kind of asinine humor, pardon the pun, but it's it's Victor and Monty trying to get out of class and they've eaten a bunch of beans and Tangleweb um, stuffs them in a web and they're they're stuck together and of course <clears throat> Monty looks at Victor and he says it it just got worse and you hear I thought, really? Do we have to go to scatological humor in this kind of show? I mean, that was... Yeah. Okay. Truth. I honestly thought that it was amusing. <laughs> the more um, sophomoric part of me thought it was hysterical, but I kind of felt like Ninja Steel was a above that kind of gag, but, you know little bit of a nag and I'm not vetching that much about it but it's still kind of kind of irritated me ever so slightly I thought the episode was excellent I, I really like the idea of the throwing stars that Mick and Red bought fashioned and we get a new Zord and I thought ooh <laughs> awesome and its ability is Pretty funny, and of course, uh, there was some humor that I never thought I would hear on a kid's show. But then again, this is coming from somebody who grew up with Earthworm Jim. And that show actually pushed the boundary, and so did um, <clears throat> Animaniacs. And <laughs> even though I was still young at the time, I understood all the double entendres and innuendos that were coming from that show. And I shouldn't have. And even when I was 10 years old uh, watching The Simpsons, I actually was a huge fan back. I still am. It, it was wittier. It was more well-written. It was more satirical then than it is now. It's actually still quite funny, but it doesn't compare to when the original writers were actually working on the show. Just IMHO. But enough said. Um, it was a very good episode. Uh, the Rangers get trapped in um, Tangleweb's canister. And uh, Calvin is the one that is counted on to save them all. And he's given new abilities. And he actually overcomes this fear. And with Haley by his side, he's able to finally get his driver's license. And it's uh, really quite sweet. I, I liked the quote that he said. Um, I actually wrote it down on my Facebook as an update. And it's amazing the things you can do when the people you love are in trouble. And I thought, yeah, that's absolutely true. There's so much um, gravitas to that, I think. And there are many of us who would give our lives, I know I would, for, for my best friends. I just, there, if I could, well, I know at some point in time I am going to have the ability to travel the world and actually get to see my friends up close and personal, which is on my bucket list of things I want to do. And this was just another example of just how big of a pull friendship truly is and how powerful it is. Friendship is magic. Sorry, I had to. Don't hate me. <laughs> Still looking forward to next season, folks. Uh, let's see. I just, I started my new job 
Um, yeah. I mean, it's, it's important what I'm doing, but it's kind of boring. But you know what? I'm putting a positive spin on it. I'm like anything else. If, if I get filled with ennui, I just decide, you know what? I'm not going to look at it that way. I'm, I'm going to look at it as what I'm doing is helping people and it's going to be something to get me by and, uh, keep me afloat for the time being while I wait for integrity to contact me. So, uh, I like, I like the, the people, um, at my job too. And what was so funny is I revealed to my coworkers just how old I was and they're looking at me like, no, you're not 37. Yeah, I am. I only look youthful. I look and feel youthful, folks. Yeah, I've got an old soul, but I have the youthful vigor of a teenager. <laughs> and yeah, the way I I get around my uh, my stamina, um, <laughs> I honestly think it's both sides of my family. Even though dad's side of the family, my grandfather was quite the athlete and a very successful and accomplished man. <laughs> and I revealed that to my coworkers today and they thought, oh, you've got a lot of clout. Yeah, I'm just hoping I can aspire. I'm my own entity. I, I want to aspire to do great things like uh, my grandfather did and like my grandmother did and like my father, like my father and my mother did. Because it seems like every person in my family has done something even very uh very small to help other people and I forgot about this tonight but uh <clears throat> I am going to start volunteering back at my church well, I'm going to a different church now but my home church where I was baptized I'm going to help and serve meals to the less fortunate because uh after mom died she had always received that. We were never on the receiving end of, of it. And having seen that, having been a recipient, I thought, you know what? It's time for me to get off my laurels and start giving back. And I hadn't done that for a while. But with my schedule, with the way it is, I can go back. And some other things I'm looking forward to. Uh, I'm looking forward to <laughs> going to hear Neil deGrasse Tyson speak. I'm so super excited about that. If you know anything about me, you know I am a huge proponent, proponent of quantum physics and um, <laughs> theoretical physics, anything dealing with physics in, in general. And I'm going to be like a kid in a candy store. I really want to ask him about the efficacy of plasma engines because nobody has been able to answer this question for me. And I'm not an engineer, but I seriously think that it could help our planet and it could really reduce emissions immensely. But big oil would probably kill me. <laughs> it might do more harm than good. That's, that's the other side of the coin and the whole plasma engine for cars thing. And it could have other implications as well. I mean, think about it. It's just it could change so many different things. And... Who knows, I might get a Nobel for this, but I mean, I don't take it lightly. This is an idea I've had for a year. I mean, I'm not sure how, how I would even begin to build this thing. I, I just have the idea. Uh, don't steal it, please. Um, but, okay, I've got two runs I'm going on. I'm going on the bubble run on the 17th of June. June 3rd, I'm going on a Relay for Life, which is a walk slash run for people who have... Uh, known somebody with cancer or had somebody in their family die of cancer, which my mother did. She had a um, uterine cancer. A lot of people say it was endometrial. I said, no, that report, that coroner's report was absolutely incorrect. I thought it was not endometrial cancer. That was uterine cancer, you stupid morons. And I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that, but I know what it was better than they did. And that's what took her life. But, you know, I don't think about the disease itself. I'm thinking that um, it's actually, I want to send it positive vibration. Is this uh, the exact opposite? The counterintuitive thought will actually help more than focusing on, you know, war and fight because 
the the more negative aspect you put on something, the worse it makes it, and it just it makes it harder. It's funny how things work that way, and, and the body will respond in kind, <laughs> much to your chagrin more often than not. And I, I found this to be true ten times out of ten. But other things I'm looking forward to, I don't know. Uh, I want to go to Comic Con this year. I I really, I really, really do. I've I've wanted to go. I wanted to go last year when um, when Ninja Sex Party. I mean, I <laughs> I was thinking, oh my god, he's gonna be here, and I I wanted to meet him so so much because I consider him uh, Dan. I he's a big Plus, I have a huge crush on him. I probably wouldn't be able to, to speak to him so freely as I'm speaking to you. I'd be like, eh. <laughs> and probably have a nosebleed fall over. Like, hey, <laughs> lady, <laughs> are you alive? Ow, <laughs> don't. I'm very, very, very fragile. Stop hitting me. <laughs> it hurts. But, yeah, it would be... It would be interesting. I think I could handle myself a lot better. I would still be doing a lot of... I would be jittering and my, my knees would probably be trying not to give out. But, you know, I would just steal my courage and gird my loins and mm, just go in there like a champion and say, I consider you a, a massive inspiration in my life and... You've gotten me through, and it's just true. Actually, and a lot of the people that follow me, I don't know if, if some of the people that have subscribed to me are, are the Game Grumps people that I've spoken to, but if you are, then um, you know that you've gotten me through some very tough times, especially this uh, past year. And uh, I feel like the tides are turning, and I may not be riding the crest of the, the wave I may not be in the trough but at least I'm smack dab in the middle just riding that wave on through and at some point in time I'm going to be on the crest of the wave and it's, it's just going to take a, a, a lot of time but that was actually that analogy and I'm starting to think that maybe there were some surfers in my family I don't know when I don't know where I don't know how but that's one thing I want to try by the way but it just it makes so much sense being a, a water sign uh what more do I have to say? I know my room looks really strange, but I'm getting prepared for uh, moving. And I know my media collection, I'm probably going to have to get rid of some stuff, unfortunately, which is I'm probably going to do a lot of crying, <laughs> saying goodbye to, to some of the things that I love. I mean, oh, my CDs, oh my goodness, it's going to be so hard, but... I can't really make a decision over what I want to keep and what I want to um, get rid of or sell. I, I know a lot of it will probably go for quite a bit. My my friend from church is going to be helping me out, so she's going to get a really good deal on that. And granted, I will haggle, so <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> Do not take me lightly because I am the queen when it comes to that seriously i'm i'm very very good i'm kind of like holo the wise wolf in a way uh, i never noticed that until just recently i thought ooh, she is a wheeler dealer and i know how to wheel and deal but <laughs> that's my heritage it's part of my confective people sorry i had to hopefully i haven't uh, uh, <clears throat> offended anybody because if i did i'm sorry but <laughs> knowing a little bit about more of who I am, and I actually take some pride in that. <laughs> and um, it's actually true. <laughs> it is very true. Look it up. But <laughs> more often than not. Uh, but that's basically all I had to say. I, I went to Integrity's website, and they told me, wait for a couple of weeks. And I thought, Oh, right. I will do that. I will stick with uh, the job that I recently got. Uh, I'm getting money coming in. So, all is well. And all is continuing to improve. Just leaps and bounds. And I've been happier than I've ever been. 
Uh, I'm writing quite a few things. I'm writing a synchronous, not synchronicity, but um, <coughs> symbiotics. I'm going to be drawing some character sketches from that, as well as one from Angel Laughter. I've got new stories. And none of the scripts that I write, none of this, none of the... The tales that I write. If it's an Eros, yeah, it's going to go up. It's it's going to go on my blogger. If it's an insight that I have, it's going to go up on my blogger. Um, I'm not really sure what else to say other than uh, thank you for all supporting me. I already gave a shout out to Polly Schreier for what he said when I was going through that really dark, dismal time. I thought... I, you know, it was, it's funny when you're in a hole and you think you're just kind of groping, thinking, where's the light? I can't see. It's so dark. And you get scared. And then there's just that little glint and you think, what's that? And it's the least likely source of encouragement. And that was Polly and other people, so many other people, people from my family, people I know, People I never knew cared about me, and I thought, wow, I, I was very humbling. And to everybody who gave me encouragement, thank you. I don't know how I'm going to repay. I don't know if I can ever repay you. <laughs> if you see me at this year's Comic-Con, I'm probably going to be dressed as uh, Hercules Carposi. You will know me when you see me because I will be dancing to a bazooki, Okay. <laughs> Then, yeah, I won't be hard to spot because you, you will know me when you see me. Uh, <laughs> and I'll be hugging everybody who's dressed like a cat. So that'll be a, another giveaway. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it. So until next time, live long and prosper. Ciao tutti.